All right, two local high school students will represent Canterbury in the national cooking competition. It's the second time Burntide High School has taken the regional title. Now they're taking their goods to Auckland to battle it out in a live cook-off. Here's our cooking correspondent, Jared McCulloch. Putting their cooking skills to the ultimate test. Students from Burnside High School will represent Christchurch, taking on nine other regions around the country. I'm really pr proud of myself for doing this and it makes me confident about cooking as well. The school took out the regional rounds a few months ago and now they're practicing for their next challenge. The National Secondary School's Culinary Challenge kicks off in Auckland on Friday and this will be the second time Burnside High has represented the region. Obviously I want to win so I'm kind of scared about it but I don't know I think it's a really good opportunity for me to compare with other teams. But it's no easy feat. The teams of two are given specific ingredients they must use in their dishes to have a chance at winning the competition. The entree must include beetroot, while potatoes need to be featured in their mains, along with chicken breast and seasonal vegetables. We have to make four dishes, like four entrees and four mains. And it all needs to be done in 90 minutes. It's quite a lot of pressure, but... This is the first time the 16-year-old has competed in the challenge, but cooking's been a passion of hers for years. In Japan, I used to go to cooking class, like cooking lessons. Um, yeah, I started there. And now she's preparing alongside her partner for the upcoming final. And if they win, they'll receive a $2,000 scholarship and head to Tahiti for the international competition. Well, if we win, we're going to represent New Zealand. So obviously I'll be, I'll be really proud. But I think um, even if we don't win, I'll still be proud of myself for doing this. The team jet off to the city of Sales tomorrow, hoping to cook their way to the top. Jared McCulloch, CTV News.